please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning. Today is Thursday, January 30th, 2019. I'm Ariana here at Mile, and we'd like to welcome you back to another great day at Lakeside Middle School. Let's start today out with a few messages from Mr. Parker and Mr. Stewart. Good morning, Lakeside. Happy to be here with you Good guys. Good morning, Lakeside. How you doing today? Hopefully wonderful out there. I yeah. know we are. We have students of the day behind That's us, right. as always. That's right. And coming to us from Ms. Garner, I have Imagine Ferris behind me. She had this to say about Imagine. I nominated Imagine Ferris for Student of the Day because she is a remarkable people and citizen. For instance, Imagine arrives thoroughly prepared daily, bringing her completed work, charged Chromebook, eagerness to learn, and compassion for others. Wow. Furthermore, it's truly a pleasure to have such a productive, polite young lady in my English A class. Congratulations to Imagine Ferris for All right, her Imagine. Good job. Good job. Way to go. And I have Mr. Derek Leon. Let's give him a big applause. He too is being recognized by Ms. Garner, who had some amazing, amazing things to say about him. She said, I selected Derek Leon for Student of the Day for several reasons. For example, Derek is an enthusiastic learner and has a phenomenal attitude. He works hard on his assignments and participates fully in all of the class discussions. In fact, Darren has exceptional speaking skills that enable him to captivate his audience. That's great. That's big. That's a big deal. Quite a talent. Regardless of the topic or task he is given. As you can see, Derek Leon deserves the honor of being student of the day. Congratulations. So, all right. There you go. There you go, Derek. Those are really awesome words. And there's your Snickers. And also the kind words from Ms. Garner. So we have a couple other things on the menu today. What do we got in the hopper here? I need to address my eighth graders. We just had the eighth grade assembly last week, as you know. Right. And I already have eighth graders uh, not following through and, and starting to be tardy to class or yeah, not way continuing to be tardy to class. And unfortunately, half of them are already about to lose their first activity, which is crazy. So eighth graders, wake up. Right. It's time to step up your game and be a good example for the seventh graders. Pretty soon, your knots is going to be off the, off the docket for you guys. You're not going to have the opportunity to go because you decide to mosey to class late, slowly, so you guys need to step up your game, uh, either change or those things are going to be gone, unfortunately. I've told you time and time again, we're not going to play that game with you guys. Be to class on time. You have learning to get done. You've got to be prepared for high school. That's your right. teachers pour their life and energy into making lesson plans that are solid for you guys. And if you show up 10 minutes late, guess what? It's like a slap in the face to your teachers. I'm not okay with that. I'm definitely not okay I know okay you're with not. That. So step it up. Get to class on time. Simple as that. Seventh grade. We have the assembly coming up probably next week. We need to address a lot of things in turn, as far as behavior, expectations, what's coming on to, um, at the end of the year for you guys. So we have a, a nice big celebration that's, that we're planning for you guys. So you as well, you're gonna miss that opportunity if you're late to class, if you're fighting, if you're just doing silly stuff on or off campus. Um, it's gonna take away all those privileges, so. That's right, that's right. So I agree wholeheartedly, I support it. Um, eighth graders, you guys know what to do. The expectations are there, and you guys, like you said, it's so important to send uh, set a good example yeah, for the seventh graders. And I know you're all capable of it, so let's step it up. Let's not blow your Knott's Berry Farm trip or any of those things early on. We won't have a whole lot to look forward to for the rest of the year, so you guys can do it. So let's get it together. And Spirit Day tomorrow, just a reminder, you guys, have a have a great rest of your Thursday, and we'll see you, the, see you tomorrow. We'll see you. Have a good one. Thank you, Mr. Parker and Mrs. Stewart, and congratulations to the student of the day. Today is your last opportunity to earn 20 Robux by pledging to support the Not On My Watch campaign. Turn in your pledges at the front office and post a picture of you, your parent, and the signed pledge at, on Instagram at lakeside underscore FNL. Pledges are now in your Google News Classroom if you need an extra copy. Again, the deadline is today, and then the opportunity to earn an extra 20 Robux will be gone. Tomorrow is Spirit Day, so don't forget to wear your Lakeside shirt to school, show your school spirit. Remember, by showing your school spirit, you will also receive five Robux and advance to the front of the lunch line. For our new students on campus this semester, if you would like to purchase a, a Lakeside shirt, please see Ms. Peaster and room 204 and, and get your own. They're only $6 cash. 
Let's hand it over to Ramon and Gio for some exciting iReady news. Good morning, Lakeside. I'm Giovanni here with Ramon, and we want to thank all the students who tried their best on the iReady diagnostic test. Your hard work does pay off because we have our next movie invite list. That's right, the list is ready. If you haven't already done so, check your Google News Classroom to see if your name is on it. Good luck! We had a great time yesterday at the iReady Student of the Month ceremony. Let's take a, let's take a look at all of our honorees. Well, being a ready student of the month is a big, uh, big, awesome thing that you can do. The only way to get a ready student of the month is to work hard, and maybe you can earn an in and out pass. So work hard and always believe in yourself and always stand up for yourself. And I hope you do a great job. Roar. What it feels like to me is I feel really special because I'm one of the 27 only students out of 1,300 that get to do this. And my mom yelled really loud when I got the award, so I feel happy because that's a really good sign when you have mine. I am very proud of my son for achieving this great accomplishment. Um, he puts in a lot of work and dedication, and I could not be more proud, and I'm so grateful to the school for recognizing him and for providing this program so that these kids are able to achieve these goals. Um, I already student, and it's good. This is my first time. First time you didn't, but I really think I really like it. Interviewing him. So first question, how do you feel to be an Irish superstar? Good. Yeah, good. Uh, next question, so how did you earn your place in coming out? I, I just kept on trying my hardest in doing the Irish lessons. And yeah. And now, final question. What's your advice to people who want to become an iRacing superstar? Just like try your hardest and keep on doing your lessons and focus. And you heard it here, folks. Well, I want to thank, first of all, the whole school, the teachers, the staff. You guys are doing an awesome job. I'm very honored for my daughter to receive this award. She's been trying, struggling, but we got to where she's at. And thanks to you guys, because you guys teach her. You guys are guiding her the right, right way, the right path. I'm very honored, and thank you guys so much. Congratulations once again. We love to see you all your hard work pay off. Back to you guys. Thanks, Gio and Ramon. Since, please make sure you have your IDs, password, a charged Chromebook, and earbuds on you every day. We have a new Chromebook policy among us, Lakeside. That's right, students. Listen up. Starting Monday, you will no longer be able to rent a Chromebook from the library. You will either need to use a teacher's loan or computer, or you will have to do an alternative assignment on paper. Please be responsible and be prepared. Also, since, it's the time to vote for our next staff mem member of the month. Please go in your Google New Classroom and vote now. We currently have 186 votes and your vote matters. The latest Lakeside Newspaper Edition is available and now in your Google News Classroom. Go check it out after you vote. Well, that's all we have. The best way to stay up to date on the events and information on campus. Please follow us on Instagram and Twitter at LakesideVBUSD. Bye, Bye Lakeside. Don't forget to be respectful, organized, accountable, and responsible. responsible.